as you can see behind my table is my reveal wall. I sell all of my images uh, already printed and finished. You give me one camera with a good lens and you give me one girl, then I could make $3,000 a day. I've spent my life mastering my craft and I want to honour it by making beautiful portraits that are worth being paid and you're worth being paid. Okay, our next session, uh, we've got a follow-up uh, environmental with the senior that we did in the studio. And so we were going around looking for some different spots and we've been trying to incorporate the, back, the water in the background. One of the issues has been that the subject is so, or in so much less light than the reflections coming off the water trying to pull that water in. So this was a spot that right now is sort of working. Uh, we've got a real, real bright patch of sky up here because the sun is just about to pop through these trees. It's acting as a key light for me. I've got light behind me working as a rim light. I don't necessarily need the hair light, but, <laughs> uh, but for our, our senior, it'd be perfect. We may be able to use the spot, but I just kind of wanted to show it in that, you know, that's the thought process that we were going through is, okay, how can we get the water in the shot and get some level of exposure? Uh, and, uh, you know, what we needed was a brighter light source. And so right now, that's the brightest light source we could find without supplementing. Now, maybe that is what we'll do with the senior. Maybe we do pull out a strobe so we can balance the light on her to pick up, uh, although that's reflective light, so that's that open sky, and because the water is choppy, if the water was smooth, we'd have water, we'd be able to see it, but because the water's choppy, we're getting those reflections, it's like little mirrors reflecting off the sky, and there's just no detail there. Uh, you just have to so underexpose it, but we may be able to pull it off the strobe in a little bit. We have Beth back, our wonderful senior that we photographed indoors this week, and now we're back for it to do some outdoor stuff. So, and actually, what's interesting that's going to that's happening now is it's been dead calm for a couple of days, and the wind is starting to pick up. Um, uh, we're still in a great location for some natural light, although it's shifting pretty rapidly. The sun's going to start to creep up over top of these trees, and we're going to start losing options pretty quickly. So we probably want to work pretty fast uh, and so I think let's just get down by the water's edge and do a few things there uh, pick a few spots and because uh, we don't have any green stuff with you at all so that's just kind of go for the green and, and yep. pretty light and hair light and well, let's do it do it so <laughs> and I think I because we talked earlier if we key lighter from this side predominantly that's going to be better for you because the, the last thing we did in the studio, we were talking about that, is that she's better off being key lit from this side. So there's not a whole lot of reason to work back in that direction. Anyhow, there's lots of great stuff going this way. So let's do that. Uh, you want to work down in here first? Or actually, maybe let's go up to... Eh, this spot actually looks kind of nice. Only I think if we just had her on the hillside, maybe. Let's not use our rocks. <laughs> Would you do anything with her seated against this hillside at all or I'm dead uh, you're the poser I, so. I think we could go seated um, since we're on a slant here yeah. normally I mean I wouldn't just put her on the right ground with on the flat ground with it. Right, skirt, right. But, but this is almost slant, almost like a work. yeah almost like a you know just I'm not like posing. that <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see what we've got and the, the other yeah, thing right I was thinking here. about going in this direction is that the wind is coming from this direction. Yes, if we try to turn her the great. other way, it's never going to happen. Yep. So, so you're thinking about all those things when you're, you know, out here in the environment. You can't go, oh, that's a great background, but then have the wind all blow in her face. So, so this is working. We've got a little pot, patch of light, backlight in her hair, great. and gorgeous light on her face, yep. beautiful light in her eyes. That. Let's take that right hand up on your knee. Yes, good. And stretch the, the back one out. Yes, good. <laughs> That looks great. And I'm shooting without looking to see what I'm doing. Let's look here. That is pretty good. Go wow. And Beth is wow. <laughs> okay, kind of throw your head back just a little bit. Good. Love it. Okay, take that hand and, and bring it into your knee and just kind of lean into your knee this way. Both, both arms in your knee. Yep. Good, that's great. Okay, keep leaning in. Bring your hands like all the way down your leg. 
Go, go, go. Keep leaning. Yes, good. That looks great. Is that too contrasty? Do you need me to open up? No, I, no? I mean, okay. in her eyes, good. it looks no. great. Yeah, I think it looks great, too. So. Just wanted to keep doing my job. Didn't want to get yelled at later. <laughs> wait. No, wait, we've wait, got wait. Great detail everywhere. Are you going? She just did it. She had a, she had a leaf covering her toe. So. <laughs> we don't want to cover your toe. Um, okay, and now just take your elbows into your knee and both of them. Yep, and then turn your shoulders towards me. Good. Just drop that left hand. And go ahead and pull your elbow back up, but just drop the hand instead of a fist. Yeah. And I'm going in pretty tight here. Come on, Wynn. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> looks great. Really pretty. You happy? Yeah. Okay. That's cute. Okay. Um, Ed would like for you to lean against a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, is that spot still working? <laughs> Let's see if it is real quick. It's getting a little spotty light, but I think we can just pull it off. We're going to have you down here, so be careful when you come in. <laughs> that is not poison ivy, so that's all good. And I don't know that you'll put her... I'm going to let you pose her once you get her in okay. here, but basically, yeah, we're going to lean you against a tree, like she said. You okay to getting down there? Go ahead and take your leg up. Just a, just a little bit, yeah. down a little. Tug on your skirt in front just a tad. Good. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to have you take oh. your hand and kind of lean into your knee a little bit. You know what I didn't think of here? What? The wind. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge. But, right. but go for it. We'll make, yeah, let's see if we can make it work. Yeah, And I like the hand back there on the tree. That's good. Yeah. And she is little enough that we can do yeah. this and let her put her weight on her arm. Yep. Yeah. Um, normally... That would be something to watch for. Um, yeah, let that elbow just be a little looser. Good. And I'm get, I'm staying really close up here. And even that little, there's a little spotty light coming through now, but it's kind of like a glamoury kind of looking thing. It, it almost looks like a little reflector kind of thing now on we're it. we're doing glamour shots? Yeah, I know. Now we're doing glamour shots. <laughs> Trees <laughs> and glamour shots? <laughs> <laughs> Trees and glamour shots. You are bad. <laughs> Look at this, I got a tree in the background. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Really pretty. I'm get a vertical too. Actually, I want you to look up at, go ahead and look up at Laura and let Laura take some because I'm going to photograph you from this angle. So I'm actually going to photograph her two thirds view of the face, but I want her eyes looking at Laura because I want the eyes centered in the sockets, not necessarily cutting back at me all the time. So take your elbow back up on the tree and, and kind of lean into it that way. Lean back even a little bit more. Maybe, yeah, go a little higher. There we go. Oops. But this is the angle I want. It is really pretty light right here. When you get done, done, I'm going to move her to yep. another spot. Yep, okay. Oh. All right, I'm done. Okay. Um, come up right here, and I'm going to have you sit, but with your feet towards the tree. Yep, just like sit away from me. But then turn back, yes. Okay, and stretch your arm towards me. And let's take your elbow. You've got, you've got elbows like me. The fronts come forward. <laughs> oh, okay, and that's great. Let's take your left hand out on your leg. And you know what, go, go ahead and come all the way on your elbow right there. Elbow on the ground, yeah and bring the, the other hand forward too. Okay. okay, let's lay your, take your hand back towards you, elbow where it is, but hand towards you. That's good. Okay, that's good, I like that. Let's see what we're getting here. I'm gonna go for only water behind her. Turn your chin this way just a little bit. Good, that's pretty. I like that. It's, it's a little flat here, but because of, she's got, you know, really pretty angular features. And so the flat light is, you know, it's just like kind of glamour. Yes, I, I said like it again. It. I said glamour again. I like it. I know. I know you like it. I know you like it. 
Let's go see if we can find some other spot. Actually, let's go. Can, can we go drive to the bridge? Yeah, we can drive to the bridge. You want to go there now? Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. I want to get one more thing. Okay. Let's get one more thing. Um, come right in this area here. I don't know if my lens is going to be short enough to do this. <clears throat> Whoa! Yeah, it was Stay. right in here somewhere. Yeah, actually back, just yeah, right where Lori is. And yeah, this lens is long enough. I'm actually going to have you just walking down that path, so go down deeper. Do you want mine, Ed? No, this actually is working good. All right, kind of starting there and then just walk straight up the road. Yeah, you just walk. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have you go stand back in that spot that you started in. And right about there, turn around. And let's take your hands in your back pockets and then just bring one foot forward. Yeah. Cute. Show you the shot. Walking shots are really tough because the body most of the time doesn't look elegant. And what I'm always looking for is when the knees come together like that, it creates a kind of a pretty line. The hands are in a natural position. They're not out here swinging in the wind and she's laughing. So it just looks like a kind of a like yeah, it's real. So what we're doing here is we're using the new Canon uh, flashes with the radio control. And the beauty of this system is that you can use high-speed sync outdoors. And we're using two strobes to have enough power. We're actually on full power. She's shooting at 2.8. I think she's up around uh, 2,000, maybe a little bit higher than that. I just suggested she stop down a little bit and give the background a little more density. Uh, but this is, you know, impossible to do with any other kind of strobe system. Uh, if you have older Canon flashes, uh, then I'd suggest the uh, radio poppers, uh, uh, the PX system. You can do the exact same thing. Uh, convenience of this is it's just all in one system. So, okay, let's um, take your hand low on your hip and kick a foot out just a little bit. Yep, good. Chin back this way towards the shoulder. Pretty. Go a little slower because the uh, flashes aren't recycling. Okay, I'm going to have you turned all the way the other way. Turn your body the other way. Yep, good. And same thing. Go muscles. That looks great. And okay, we're going to do it one more time. Turn around. And then just on the count of three. And make sure we've got great big smile or laugh, whatever works. Okay, one, two, three. Love it. Okay, and now um, back up again, just like three feet. And I'm gonna have you walk towards me and, and kick while you walk, just kind of like over-exaggerate, yes. And you don't have to look at me, you can look at your feet, you can look up, flat, that way laugh, and go. Okay, right there. Come, come forward and not like by the yellow flowers. I'd rather have random. In that and then, will you squat down right there? Turn your knees. Yep. Pull your dress down. And just, um, just hold on to the flowers in front of you, the weeds in front of you, to the, the pink ones that way. Like right behind your knee, the tall one. Yeah, up, to, up tall. And tilt your head this way. Good. Bring your your left leg out so I can see your boots. Yeah, cute. That looks great. That looks really pretty. Yeah, it does. Okay, I think we're good. All right, so uh, that was some tech that you normally wouldn't, wouldn't have done, would not have done, and quite honestly, it worked without it. And because I was shooting without strobe, and I'm going, you know, this is pretty darn close. I think the strobe is going to add just that little bit of extra density, uh, but 
quite honestly, in Lightroom with a brush tool and a half a stop off on the face, and boom, it'll probably be there. Yeah, so, really so there pretty. are ways of doing it, and and the you know much later in the day, no, it wouldn't work. It would have been too overhead. But we're still pretty well backlit because all these flowers are backlit, and she was backlit, and that's what we were photographing. The density was always there. Hair was probably going to be a little hot, and that's where the strobe was going to help you out, yeah. is that it's going to bring those densities closer. And we're at 8.30 in the dead of the summer, so, I mean, 9:30, it's... 9.30, 9.30, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, 9.30, but the, so we do have some, obviously, overhead sun right now, but put, positioning her so that the sun's behind her, and then we've got nice open sky for Phil yeah. works yeah, yeah, there is absolutely nothing. But it's know, fun to have the strobe. That was yeah. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, to the bridge. Okay. We've got a whole bunch of stuff, you know, right in this little bridge area. Now, we're not doing Well, the and, and here's the story is I live in Madison County, as in the bridges of... And so it's this cliche thing that all the photographers take people to the bridge. And so that's something that I don't do. But we're here, we're going to shoot, and I, we're going to not let anybody know we're in a bridge. We're just going to use the bridge as light modifier. Yeah, so. exactly. Yep. And it's nice texture and yeah. cool stuff. Right. We should pro I'm going to do a custom white balance because the color temperature difference between this side of the bridge and that side of the bridge is radical. I mean, this is gonna be real warm uh, because again, it's bouncing off of this floor and it's gonna have a real, real warm tone to it. That's gonna be super blue on the other side. So, and you're gonna use one and then with one little click, you'll fix all yours. Actually, and if you shoot can the I target for your exposure, you can actually click on the target in Lightroom to get your, uh, your color balance. And I'm going to have you go this way just a little bit because I don't want to shoot into that bright background. I want to shoot into the <laughs> something wood. Something more fun. And um, let's take your thumb and just kind of hang it in your, and then I want you to kick your hip towards me. Good. Just drop your elbow down a little bit. Yeah, good. 24. And let's shoot this. And let's, let's take your other hand up too. Just kind of hang it off your belt. Yep. And turn towards me just a little more. Good. Okay. Um, I'm going to have you back up all the way to that wood post, the one that's sticking out the furthest, the skinny one. Yes. And just lean up against it, your whole back. Oh, I like that. That's good. <laughs> I like what you did. Um, bend that arm again so that it's, yeah. I want to see like a yes. So bring your body out from your arm a little bit so that I can see that triangle of your, so take your hand up a little bit further. Just go like right here by, behind your back. Yep. And I see a little bit of curve there too. Okay, lean your head all the way back there and let's go without a smile. That's great. Yeah. Cool. The full length here. And I really like this angle over here. If you just look at me for one. Could you lift your hand, maybe put the other hand on your hip, that one there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And what I'm doing is I use my center focus spot because it's the most accurate. So you'll see me, I'll bring my camera to center, I'll focus with the back focus button which locks it, then I'll recompose the image, and now I can shoot as many times as one here and won't refocus the camera. That looks great. Mine just came out dark. But I've got enough there, but I'll come back. It's only Mine's like, not. Uh, you hit, you nailed yours. I knew you would. <laughs> I'm the guy, I'm the target guy, and my, I screw up my guy. exposure. Yeah, yours is awesome. That's pretty. Mine sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so should we go to the other end? I can fix it. Sure, let's go to the okay. other end. Let me grab my bag. You know what? Come lean right out here on the edge of that. Oh. Okay, that looks good. Um, great. Turn your chin that way towards that shoulder. Perfect. Hands are great. Let's 
super. <laughs> Were you done there? I was. Okay. I just took a couple of shots. Um, I do want to use that. Here, you're you're the you're the poser. Where would you put her in that um, graffiti stuff? You know, right here. I would say let's have you just come lean right into here. Yeah. And then the angle we can kind of just shoot back into that. Come right out to the edge of that. If you can. Yep. Take your head in yeah. just a little bit towards your arm. Yeah. Let's take this hand all the way up too. <laughs> and bring the top arm down. Yeah, that one. Even a little bit more. Yeah. Now lean your head in. What I'm trying to do is keep from getting that green area, but compositionally I'm trying to also keep her kind of in the, in the thirds. And so I like the spot. And come out again. I want your face to end up right out up here on the edge. Yeah. But let's drop the elbow down. Yep, right in here. And like I said, I'm shooting a 50, so it's kind of a normal perspective. I will crop off your hand. That's good. Next to the green area, is kind of interesting to add a little color. So now I don't mind it. Okay, kind of leaning into your hand. Good. And this is a little more serious. Let's go without a smile. Not mad, though. <laughs> Let me whip that little piece of hair back. Yeah. Get some wind coming through here. This is like way closer than I would normally ever go with a 50. As a matter of fact, I can't go that close with a 50. I just can't. Take your head the other way. Really? Yeah. Perfect. See, I'm, I, I think that's old school stuff that I really like. If I'm going to do a two thirds view of the face where they're not looking at the camera, but I know that's nobody, <laughs> does, nobody does that anymore, but I do. <laughs> the, um, yeah, actually, that's nice just like that. And I just have to, yeah. Take your head over that way for me. Yeah, yeah that's great. I like that angle. I like the graffiti behind you. Real pretty. Gorgeous. Cool. Okay, go right in the middle of that, of the white. And let's see what happens. I don't know what this will look like yet, but take your hands up like on that ledge behind you. It might be too high. Like right, yeah, yeah. Just like that. Lean out a little bit from it. Tilt your head this way. Nope, out that way. <laughs> um, I don't know. We might try this. I know what you're trying to accomplish. I like it. Forward a little bit. Oops. Sorry. Put your push your butt back against the wall, and then lean. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. I'm trying to think of another she, way to she have makes her it hands. cute. Yeah. <laughs> Turn your chin that way. I got an idea. I don't know if it'll work. Can we try something real quick? Just put your hands up. No, actually that. That's better. I think that's better with that one and let this hand just come up against the wall there. Yes, no? Sure. Um, tilt your head just a little bit though. I don't like that shelf right behind her neck. But. She has long arms. <laughs> yep, can't get her in with my 135. There we go, just barely. I'm gonna fall over the back. Turn your face that way. Chin around too, right there, yeah. Great. Like it. And then right where you are, bring your hand closer to you so your elbow drops and turn your chin all the way this way. That's cute. All right. And then I'm going to have you lean back up against this almost like you were before, but take both hands up together. That's very cute. Drop that front arm just a little bit. Perfect. Okay. I'm thinking I'd like to do something 
going to have her come sit. In uh, the that's what I was going to do is have her sit. But I think I'm I'm just looking at the light. I think I want to come in. Yeah, actually, this is that that's going to work. Just walk over, and when I get your feet where I want you to sit, I'll tell you. <laughs> and probably right about there. Yeah, yeah. So how are you going to sit her now? <laughs> um, sit cross-legged, which is going to feel like weird in your skirt, but then we can fix it. Yep. Yep. I'm just let it kind of fall in there. Like just hands and kind of to yeah. Let's see if that works. Okay, and but since I'm gonna, you're gonna be looking up at me. Can you spin? Yeah, turn, turn, turn. Okay, and then lean back on the. Put your hand back behind, and then now and then turn your chin back out, out to that side. Yeah, just like that. Tip your head to that shoulder even more. Yeah, that's it. Can you flip your hair back off of that? No, that shoulder's fine. That one right there, yeah. That's it. And what I was doing is I'm shooting from this really high angle. Chin up just a little bit for me. a mosquito bite. Yeah. yeah. Is that from this morning? From right now, yeah. Bend your elbow just a little bit. Yeah, that's it. That's great. Perfect. Chin up a little bit more. It feels weird, but I'm so high that... I'm just trying to bring her face so it's parallel with the camera. And I broke her elbow just a little bit. Go ahead and make your arm straight real one, one time for her because that's where she was. I'm going to shoot it. And now just break it again. It just softens that line a lot. Beautiful. Whoops. Except for the camera in my shot. One last one. Turn your chin even a little more. Right there. That's it. Oh, and wind. Yes. Wait, wait. Give me a little breeze. Great. Thanks. Awesome. Okay, now I'm going to have you turn towards me and kind of go for that hands on the knees thing. And, yep, that's cute. And swing your hair around a little bit. Good. Okay. Cool. That's cute. Hold on one second. Oh, that's good. Um, <laughs> I gotta get back a little further. No oh zoom yeah, for me. Win. She's going like, which camera do I look <laughs> at? <laughs> okay, and then are you good here? Because I'm yep. gonna just have her squat. Yep. Let me just give one last shot here. There you go. Squat, such good. an ugly word. That's we should great. think of a different word. <laughs> that is beautiful. Oh, and we, I'm getting my wind again. And I put you out of focus. There you are. Great. Okay, so hop up and then feet apart. And just bending at the knees. Yes. Let's pull your skirt over to the side just a little bit if you can. Yep. Is my bag in, in your way? Go this way. No, I'm actually going to come over this way. And hands are perfect. Just let them drop right there. Chin this way. Good. That's great. That looks really cute. Fine. I'm going to get really close. And... Perfect. Rocket. You happy? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome stuff. Are you happy? Yes. <laughs> That's most important. <laughs> yeah, I think. Um, really yeah. light both ways. The kind of the point is, we've got her under some some overhang with some nice open sky coming yep. in. And yeah, we've got. We did a green environment. We did the open daisy field. We did this, which is kind of funky, almost a little urban-y. Um, this really also reminds me of um, a garage. Yeah. And, you know, it's always, if when in doubt, if there's no place else, when you get to somebody's house and it's, it seems crazy to them that you'd open up the garage door and shoot right under, but if you're shooting at two and, or two yeah. eight, yeah. and you can get everything else out of focus, just being careful what's in your background. Um, usually you've got that overhang with some nice open yeah. sky and you've got also the driveway that gives you some reflection. So yeah. kind of same idea. Good stuff. Good stuff. Great. Great model. <laughs> I know how to pick them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>